The Antmega is one of the few powerful bug type Pokemon. It has a solid base 116 special attack, along with 95 speed, but its true power comes from its abilities. Tinted Lens makes it so that not very effective attacks deal double damage, meaning almost nothing wants to resist this dude. Another amazing ability choice is Speed Boost. This raises speed by one stage at the end of every turn. This pairs super nicely with one of the newer items, the Throat Spray. This gives special attack a boost after using a sound-based move, including Bug Buzz. We can throw in Terra Ground to cover for Steel and Fire-type switch-ins, and this thing can really get snowballing fast. Alright, look, I don't know why, but I've been into using bug Pokemon lately, and honestly, Yen Mega's gotta be one of the most fun, especially with its throat spray set, and this thing just does not get enough love. And if you're into that kind of thing, consider hitting that subscribe button. I promise you will not regret it, and I got some really good battles for you today. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So, my opponent is just gonna straight up lead off with the Gyarados, and that is just an immediate threat, and this thing is extremely scary. I decided to toss out the Swampert because I want to just prioritize getting my rocks up. However, this thing comes in, gets intimidated, and I'm like, damn, I should probably get the hell out of here because this likely means this thing is going to try to set up a Dragon Dance on me early, and I don't have really enough offensive pressure to handle this thing. So, my suspicion is correct. They do just go right for that Dragon Dance, and I just decide to go for that flip turn. I say, you know what, Stealth Rock is going to have to wait, and I need to try to figure out how I'm going to deal with this thing. Early game leads are always uh, really interesting because either they work or they just immediately get shut down. In this situation, they probably made a good decision trying to get the pressure up early because this thing is now faster pretty much than my entire team. However, I do have a booster energy speed uh, iron treads here. So I can come in, activate that quark drive. It does give me the speed boost. And we're both sitting at plus one and I'm definitely faster. Now the problem is Volt Switch is kind of my only answer here, and it seems like it's probably not quite going to knock this thing out, as yeah, it does barely hang on. It turns out that four times weakness means nothing if you're a thick-ass Gyarados, and it is really unfortunate having to kind of burn my booster energy there just to switch myself out. Uh, however, this puts me in a spot where I kind of just have to send something in who is either going to take an Earthquake or a Waterfall. I do just decide to go into the Swampert. Uh, this thing is just running max HP with no defense investment, so sadly, a Waterfall is going to be a two-hit KO. Even after Leftover Recovery, I'm like, damn. It turns out we're going to just basically have to sack off the Swampert, but I do feel like I have an answer on a switch in here. So they finished me with the Waterfall, and at least my main priority was getting the chip on the Gyarados. And that is because we have one little bug friend who can finish this thing off, uh, but not from full. So thankfully we've got this thing down to the point where we can easily finish it off, and now we got to try to get some, uh, some, little, some Dragonfly speed action going. So... I bring in Buzz Killington, and I'm going to go right for the Protect. I figure if they predict a Protect here and go for a second Dragon Dance, uh, they deserve it. But they do not. They decide to just go for the Ice Bang to knock me out, and uh, the Protection is real nice. Always use Protection because now we can go super fast. We're out here zooming around with our Speed Boost, and this should allow us to be faster than the Gyarados. And also, it is in range to finish it, hopefully, with a Bug Buzz. Now... The reason why I want to try to go for the Bug Buzz here is because we got a little bit of a sore throat action going on here. I can go for that Bug Buzz, it finishes this thing off, but more importantly, that is going to activate the Throat Spray. So, not only are we zooming around with our Speed Boost, but also now we get a Special Attack Boost. And we've got ourselves pretty set up with this Yen Mega at this point, and we're actually looking really good against their team. So, uh, the Gyarados gets shut down. Thankfully, we're not just swept by a plus one Gyarados. However, now they decide to go into Hydrapple. Now, a lot of the time you see these, they are going to be working with, uh, like, an Assault Vest set. with super specially defensive. I want to go for a Protect. Now, the reason for that is because you also see a lot of the time these things carrying the Terra Steel. Uh, it would be a great situation for this thing to go for that Terra Steel. Uh, however, the Protect is great because that not only does it allow me to scout, but... It, of course, gives me another speed boost, and at this point, we're surely faster than literally everything. But also, the fact that this thing went for the Yawn gives us intel that it's not going to be Assault Vest. And if it's not an Assault Vest set, or it didn't go for the Steel Terra, a Bug Buzz actually kills with plus one. Now, we get the critical hit, it turns out that actually doesn't matter. Even if this thing is max HP and special defense, that literally just still knocks out that crazy-ass Apple Boy. So, that is pretty insane. Yan Mega is absolutely popping off right now. However, they do get a free switch, and they can bring in young Mustard Ghost, who is going to have to take an Air Slash. Now, I know that's not going to kill, but it brings it down to red, and we actually get the flinch. The most clutch flinch ever. 
that is right that is why we run air slash on like the fastest thing the, the high flinch chance um, doing huge damage as well so we get definitely lucky there to take out the miss maggie um but again this yen mega is on an absolute tear and we just uno reverse the ship out of their early game gyarados sweep but uh, this is this, a great example of showing off exactly what this yen mega can do and sometimes the bug comes in and just body bags you. I don't make the rules, I just come up with them as I go. Anyway, now Chinchino comes in, and I just turn his ass to dust, call me Thanos, just snapping fools with bug buzzes out here. And now we're actually in a fantastic spot because their final two Pokemon are not great against the Mega. First of all, they bring in the Reuniclus, who is a little jelly who obviously does not enjoy Bug Buzz. But actually just does take this thing out. Uh, down goes the Reuni. And now their final Pokemon is actually going to be a Weirdier. So this thing obviously does not enjoy staring in the face of a plus one Dragonfly here. So all I can really do here is just <laughs> click the Bug Buzz and uh, that is going to finish off the the weird ass deer so that would that could not have been a more ideal game to kind of show off what this set is supposed to do and sometimes the yen mega just kills all six pokemon and that's exactly what this boy is capable of so that was an interesting game <laughs> definitely uh, a great to showcase and uh it's not going to stop there because we do have one more match. This Yen Mega is extremely fun and it does have some more tricks under its sleeve, which hopefully we can showcase here. So we have a next match with a couple of big threats. Obviously, there's things like the Golden Go. They have a Dragonite. They also even have a Yen Mega of their own. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. So this time, my opponent is going to go ahead and lead off with the Grimmsnarl. Now, that's something that's uh, extremely out of the ordinary. A lot of the time you see these as a light clay lead, going for the reflect, light screen, parting shot, you know, just annoying things like that. However, this one ends up going for the fake out, which uh, is not going to do a whole lot to Swampert, but it kind of tells me that, hey, maybe this Grimmsnarl is a little bit different than the ordinary Prankster one. However, it's not really that big of a deal. Big ass Mudkip over here is just gonna kind of stay in and I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna click Stealth Rock again. As it does turn out that this thing is a little bit built different and this buff bastard decides to get even more buff with a bulk up. And that is actually quite scary. I just set up my Stealth Rock uh, unassumingly and uh, this thing is actually a pretty big threat. The reason is with its Prankster, it guarantees that it's able to get a bulk up, you know, before we can attack. And versus physical attackers, this thing is quite a threat. It can also, you know, hit pretty hard with priority things like Sucker Punch, uh, but also, you know, stab on like a play rough. So I'm like, okay, I'm actually just going to get the hell out of here because I'm kind of afraid of this. And obviously my Earthquakes aren't going to do very much as they just opt to go for a second bulk up. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to flip turn my little fish ass up on out of here. And uh, I gotta figure out a plan against an offensive setup Grimmsnarl, which is actually pretty cool because everybody uses the same damn Grimmsnarl these days. Uh, except this one, Buddy's working with a, a little different one. So, I now decide to bring in the great, uh, great treads, the iron treads. He's still pretty great, in my opinion. However, what I can do is uh, activate my Quark Drive, which doesn't really matter. But also, this is gonna be a special attacking set with the Steel Beam. Now, I know that Sucker Punch is likely coming as it does hit me for over half damage, which is actually kind of unfortunate because I can go for the Steel Beam and hitting it on the special side is one of the only ways I was going to be able to take care of this. But since the Sucker Punch came through and knocked me below half, uh, the recoil also takes care of my tread. So that's honestly, it's a trade that I'm happy with just because now I don't have to deal with that crazy ass Grimmsnarl at plus two attack and defense. So I'm feeling pretty good. However, I do lose... Uh, things like my rapid spinner and also just some good pressure in pivoting with the, the iron tread. So on the empty switch here, we can both kind of decide to go into whatever we want. I decide it's time to get some grape juice all over the damn place. I'm going to bring in Croissant Ears, who sets up the Psychic Surge. And that is going to be helpful in like blocking priority, but also it increases the damage on expanding force. Now, indeed, he is fast as hell. I don't know how... We get going so damn quick, but obviously we are able to outspeed uh, the superior. This thing has like base 95 speed. And seeing that I outspeed there tells me that this is a, also a different superior. It turns out it's not running uh, like a timid max speed set. And instead, it's actually going to go for the leech seed there, which is uh, kind of interesting as at this point, I opt to go for the dazzling gleam. Now, they actually end up outspeeding this time, which means like... We have a speed tie or something crazy going on. Honestly, low-key confusing, but I go for the Dazzling Gleam expecting a dark type to switch in. However, they just stay and it actually does not kill this thing, which is actually quite annoying. And I'm like, well, what the fuck? Okay, well, that's actually really bad because I could have just expanded force one more time for a nice little, little easy KO. But I'm like, all right, I'm just going to go for it this time. They do actually outspeed and finish me with that Leaf Storm. And uh, now this Superior is sitting at the plus four special attack. But luckily, I've got it to a range where I should be able to pick this thing off. And you already know what time it is, baby. 
Buzzkill is ready to come in and do exactly what this thing was built to do. Now, it's always important to note that this thing being four times weak to Stealth Rock really hinders it. However, that's why I try to prioritize having Rapid Spin, but luckily I, they actually didn't get up uh, the Stealth Rock here. So we come in for free, we're feeling healthy, and I decide to go for the Protect here. That's going to give me a speed boost, uh, block whatever they decide to do, as they actually just click the Terra Blast. It's likely their only neutral hit, and uh, even without a Terra, it likely kills me anyway at the, at the plus four. So. The Protect saves me from that, however now I also get my speed boost, and we are going to be faster than pretty much everything at this point, so I can outspeed, go for that Bug Buzz to pick this thing off, and that is absolutely ideal, because now we're going to be sitting at plus two after the turn, but more importantly of course, we do get that Throat Spray to soothe the, the roughness that comes from clicking Bug Buzzes all day. Sometimes you just need a little bit of spray to help you out. So. Again, we are faster than everything, and at plus one, I'm actually in a fantastic spot. What I'm not in a great spot against, however, is going to be something like the Incineroar and also like the Golden Go in the back. But the reason why I'm totally fine setting this thing up is because I'm actually carrying the perfect Terra for the Yanmega, which is going to be the Terra Ground. So if you've ever wanted to see what a, uh, a Dragonfly looks like with a crazy bull cut, this is that dude. I got the Earth on my damn head. And Terra Ground is super great for this mod just because of Steel types and Fire types. I can now go for that Terra Blast and at plus one special attack, uh, this, this Incineroar over here, young Chester Cheeto, gets his ass absolutely sent back to the Shadow Realm and that does take care of it. So listen, at plus one special attack and all the speed in the world, they really do not have much that wants to deal uh, with the Yan Mega. I also have the Psychic Surge up to block Extreme Speed from Dragonite, so I'm feeling pretty good as they decide to bring in Yan Mega of their own. Obviously, I am gonna be faster. I can kill this thing with an Air Slash. However, they are afraid of the power that is Yan Mega, and they're actually just gonna run. So that's gonna be the end of this one, and I thought that that was just fun to see. You know, this thing can really turn the tides of a game extremely quickly, and uh, super fun Pokemon to use. Listen, if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like on the video. It really does help out the channel, and I really appreciate all the support. I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.